Christian monasticism is a practice that began to develop early in the history of the Christian Church, drawing on biblical examples and ideals, including those of the Old Testament. Originally, all Christian monks or hermits, and rarely met other people. Monos means alone in Greek. However, due to the extreme difficulties of individual life, many monks failed, returned to their old lives, or fell into spiritual delusions. As more and more people accepted life as monks, they began to associate with and eventually live in Christian monasteries. 10. Alcabaca Monastery The Alcabaca Monastery is a Roman Catholic monastery in the city of Alcabaca in central Portugal. It was founded in 1153 by the first king of Portugal, Afonso Henriques, and has maintained close ties with the kings of Portugal throughout its history. The church and monastery were the first Gothic buildings in Portugal, and, together with the monastery of Santa Cruz de Quibra, one of the most important medieval Christian monasteries in Portugal. 9. Sumela Monastery Sumela Monastery is a Greek Orthodox monastery at the foot of a steep cliff overlooking the Altender Valley in modern-day Turkey. It was founded in 386 AD during the reign of the Roman Emperor Theodosius I, 375 to 395. According to legend, two priests decided to found a monastery herein. After discovering a miraculous icon of the Virgin Mary in a cave in the mountain, over the course of its long history, Sumela Monastery fell into disrepair several times and was renovated by various Roman emperors. It achieved its current form in the 13th century. 8. Ostrog Monastery Ostrog Monastery is a Serbian Orthodox monastery located on an almost vertical background on the large rock Ostroska Greta. It is dedicated to St. Basil Ostrogsky and is the most popular pilgrimage site in Montenegro. It was built in the 17th century and acquired its current appearance in 1923 to 1926 after a fire that destroyed a large part of the complex. Fortunately, the two small rock-cut churches that form the key areas of the monument were spared. 7. Pecher Sklavra, also known as the Kiev Pecher Sklavra, is a historic Orthodox monastery in Kiev, Ukraine. Since its founding as a rock-cut monastery in 1015, the Lavra has been an important center of Orthodox Christianity in Eastern Europe. There are many architectural monuments in the Pechersk Lavra, from the Great Lavra Bell Tower, a distinctive feature of the Kiev skyline, to cathedrals, underground cave systems, and sturdy stone defensive walls. 6. Gelati Monastery The Gelati Monastery is a monastic complex in western Georgia. It contains the Church of the Blessed Virgin Mary, founded in 1106 by King David the Builder of Georgia, and the 13th century churches of St. Peter, George, and St. Nicholas. The Gelati Monastery has long been one of Georgia's most important cultural and intellectual centers. There was an academy where the most important Georgian scientists, theologians, and philosophers worked. 5. Mount Athos Mount Athos is a mountain and peninsula in northern Greece. Around 1,400 monks live in 20 Orthodox monasteries on the peninsula, the easternmost extension of the larger Chalkidiki Peninsula. It is an autonomous state under the sovereignty of Greece. Access to this area is strictly controlled and only accessible by boat. Only men can enter Mount Athos and only male monks can live there. Of the 20 monasteries, one is Russian, one is Bulgarian, one is Serbian, and the rest are Greek. There are also Romanian and Bulgarian communities of Christian hermits who follow the monastic rule, called Skidi. Foreign monasteries and monasteries are supported by their countries. 4. Rila Monastery The Monastery of St. Ivan of Rila 
better known as the Rila Monastery, is the largest and most famous Orthodox monastery in Bulgaria. It is located in the northwestern part of the Rila Mountains, in the deep valley of the Rila River. Traditionally, it is believed that the monastery was founded by the holy hermit, Ivan of Rila, after whom it was named. During the reign of Tsar Peter I, 927 to 968, the hermit actually lived in a cave with no material possessions near the monastery site, while the complex was built by his students who came to the mountains to study. 3. St. Catherine's Monastery The St. Catherine's Monastery is located on the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt, at the mouth of a gorge, at the foot of Mount Sinai. The Orthodox Monastery is considered the oldest functioning Christian monastery in the world. Although this title is also claimed by St. Peter's Monastery, Anthony, across the Red Sea, in the desert south of Cairo, the monastery was built by order of the Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian IR, 527 to 565. On the site where Moses is said to have seen the burning bush, the monastery library has the second largest collection of ancient codices and manuscripts in the world, after the Vatican Library. 2. El Escorial the famous monastery of San Lorenzo di El Escorial, El Escorial for short, is located in the foothills of the Sierra de Guadarrama in Spain, and was the political center of the Spanish Empire during the reign of King Philip II. In 1559, Philip appointed Juan Bautista de Toledo as architect. Juan Bautista spent much of his career in Rome, where he worked at St. Peter's Basilica, Rock. Together they designed El Escorial as a monument to Spain's role as the center of the Christian world. Today it is one of Spain's royal sites and serves as a monastery, royal palace, museum and school. 1. Meteora Meteora, floating in the air, is one of the largest and most important Orthodox monastery complexes in Greece after Mount Athos. In central Greece, Six Christian monasteries were built on natural sandstone pillars. In the 14th century, Athanasius Koinovitis of Mount Athos founded the large monastery of Meteor on, on the broad rock. The place was perfect for monks. They were protected from political unrest and had complete control over access to the monasteries. Access to the monasteries was deliberately difficult, requiring long interconnected ladders or large networks used for the transport of both goods and people. It required a huge leap of faith. The ropes were only replaced when the Lord allowed them to be broken. 